Well, that's it, guys. I'm the Yesterday Vlogs. Back to another vlog for you guys. Today's vlog is Old Shop vs. Eastley. I'm currently in Woking train station to get on the train to Old Shop. I see Eastley's form have been terrible since I leave Bradbury's first game of the season to beat Ramsdale 4-1. Obviously, beating them 4-1. And then I've come from the confident Old Shop. They've lost the last eight games. I've not won in the last eight, so they are obviously in very bad form. They're sitting 20th and we're, we're sitting. Can, can, you get, can, I get, can I get a photo? Can I get a photo? Cheese. As I say, also, I've not won the last eight games, so they're in very bad form. So are we, to be honest, but. That's set in 20th, we're set in 19th. So yeah, I was just saying, obviously, last time we played Old Shot, it was that day going, we beat them. The last time we played Old Shot, we obviously lost 3 0 to them at our ground, they actually dominated us. So, I said they, they deserve to win that game, but I'm trying to do my intro here. Old and short, obviously, sitting 20th. We have a game in the hand against us, but we're six points cleared of them. So, if we win today against them, we'll be cleared away from them, which would be good. But if Old Shot lose, and obviously, Kings in are facing Dover, and if they beat Kings in beat Dover, Old Shot are in massive trouble. So, hopefully, we can beat them and keep clear of them. I think it's been a difficult game, difficult game for both teams. So, we haven't had the shot on target as much in the last few games. We need, we need to put Charda Hill back. I think there should be a back to today's game. Right, two minutes have to come out. It looks like a 4-4-2. We've got a camp back right back. And we have Boyce and Borbet at the back with Vinny left back. In the midfield is Cav. And I believe Pritchard in that middle. And then um, right side, I believe Sam Smart, left side. Left side is Hesker. Up front, Tyrone Byatt coming back into the squad with um, Danny Whitehall. Sewell drops to the bench. Danny Holland's on the bench. Kelly's on the bench. Pittman and Smith is on the bench. So three changes in this lineup. So looks like a very strong squad, but there's, there's no Brian Hill. He's still out, which is disappointing because. He actually presses the, the opponent, which we probably will miss today, but hopefully Barnett will have a big presence. So if Osh comes out with what they did at our ground, we could have a chance losing this. But hopefully, obviously, this is under Lee Bradbury now, so it could be a different story. So hopefully, we can get a three points today, it could be massive. Osh will lose, they're in massive trouble if Kings Lynn win as well against Dover. And my small prediction for today's vlog, it depends how we start off, but I have a feeling we will nick it a 2 1. But so recently, we have not been getting any shots like goal, so hopefully today can be the change. Well, I think 1 0. 1 0. Sam Smart. Sam Smart, yeah. He's really, last game he played, he was so good, Sam Smart. Yeah, he was really good. He yeah. changed the game against well, He did. Right, I've got a jack here, score prediction. Ooh. I'm going to go 2-0 Eastley today. Oh, I'm confident now. Yeah, come yeah. on. I went 2-1. Yeah, 2-1. Looking forward to it. Can't back in the side 11 as well. Oh, no, we're not winning. Put, put dogs on the bench. Oh, when he comes on, we'll win. Yeah, hopefully. I'm going to say 1-0 Eastley.
I was just stretching off. I'm not too sure what's happened. It's like a neck or head injury. It looks like a serious injury. Where's the wall? Oh, that's right. It's going to be at least 10 minutes at a time, possibly.
Man. Alright, second half, and the keeper's gone down. The sub keeper has gone down. I'm not sure what's his problem. He's going to lock down.
There we go, guys, the end of the vlog. What a win, 2 0 against Aldershot away. We finally got a win. Obviously, our last one did come, I think it was like five games ago versus Wellstone. So, obviously, winning our second game under Lee Bradbury, which is fantastic, especially against Aldershot. We got out of revenge. Obviously, they're being a 3 0, but I've got to say, what a round performance on the whole team. We kept in the game. But obviously, Aldershot, two of their keepers got injured, especially the, when we scored the first goal. It was, he obviously collided with his own player, and then I think then he hit, as he, went, as he was coming down, he hit his other teammate. And then as he landed, I'm not too sure what was happening, either his neck, his head, or it must have been his back. But obviously, hopefully, he's all right. Not been any updates, so I'm not too sure what's happened with him. Hopefully he makes a full recovery. And, and the second keeper, I'm not too sure what happened to him. I think he must have kicked the ball or something. I don't know. It looked like he, it was knee or something like that. So he went off, stretched it off as well. So obviously they're both keepers. I don't know. They must have another keeper, but not an experienced keeper. See, I shot could be trouble in that department. Plus, there was no injury, so which was good. I see Camp got the first goal and then Barnett with the chip comes back in the squad and makes a massive presence and his impact was brilliant. Winning in that game, which most likely means that we've survived this year staying in the National League, which is fantastic. To come into our next game, we are facing Wrexham away. That game is going to be absolutely, obviously, who to Wrexham because they are sort of, sort of fighting for the title and playoffs. Obviously, title is possibly out of reach. But obviously, if they keep winning and when they stop or lose to a three games at least until now to end of the season, it possibly the title race is back on. But obviously, Wrexham have to win to get second place and get a home tie in the playoffs. So obviously, that's going to be a big game for Wrexham. But for us, hopefully, we can go there cause an upset, which Uva scored um, four against them. Anything could possibly for them, but hopefully, we turn them against them. I probably will go to the game at the moment. I'm still trying to find travel to get there, so I should be going. So hopefully that's my next vlog. But yeah, if you enjoyed this old vlog, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I should see you next Saturday.